Right, are we here? Can I just get a uh, a resounding applause? I mean, I mean, um, just an NAV could, but actually, do. make sure you can hear the game. Make sure you can hear me. There's nobody else that I'm talking to, so that's fine. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh dear. Right, it's it's the Munich Challenge. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, and I'm going really low tech today for this. Um, yeah, this is how you do slides. Oh, this is genius. Isn't it? Let me get let me get a shot of this ugly mug off the right hand side here, um, and uh, go with that, so that you can see um, the state of the uh, the state of the nation at the moment. We have Sam in third place. We have Natalie in second place, uh, and we have Jamie in a very strong first place. So, actually, you know, Jamie and Natalie have both done an amazing job, at, and uh, but Jamie especially. That's a really good score. Slightly nervous, <coughs> it has to be said. And uh, you lot have been just saying, oh, you're going to get it. You're going to do it. Thanks. Thanks. Um, no, no, no pressure or anything. Um, but, uh, well, no. What am I doing? Buttons. I don't do buttons. That's it. Go away. Back to the game. OK. So uh, we are, I am told, in the uh, BR423 Spring Clear uh, at 0822. So without further ado, before I start, <clears throat> I'm probably not going to watch chat very much. I am going to focus on what I'm doing. I am going to talk through everything I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And if I floof it up, I'll try and explain why I think I've floofed it up. Uh, and then we can chat afterwards. You know, in, in the after race chat, uh, we, we can we can discuss where you think I did, especially embarrassingly badly, why that spad actually ended up happening and why indeed all of the wheels came off the train on that curve. Um, so we can we can cover those points uh, when we get to the end. Um, so we'll be running uh, to München Ost um, as far as the uh, München Hackerbrücke. So um, is this a dev build? No, I can confirm today I set this machine updating, switched it to a production build. This is a production build. OK, I can't think of any other reasons I might disqualify myself, but um, <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, like I said, not going to pay any the uh, pay any uh, attention to the chat. So I'm not ignoring you, except I really am. Um, and uh, um, so um, let's see how we get on, shall we? <clears throat> kind of hyped. I love driving German trains. I love driving PZB. Haven't driven German trains and haven't driven PZB in a while because of this one, southeastern high speed, the western the, the western uh, diesel pack uh, and other stuff that i'm doing right i'm going to shut up waffling and get on focus on what i'm doing okay so we need uh pzb lzb we need cfa just for the sake of it i'm going to stand up and sit back down again make sure the q key works put the instrument lights on reverse key in and forwards and we are going to get going the train is moving we're heading up to 40 kilometers per hour uh, FIS route verb. Uh, we got S3 mention Ost. Let's enter escape. A little bit of speeding. It didn't go red, so I'm not too. I'm not too shame filled. Now, as we come in here, because we're approaching a red light, remember that shunt signal only gave me one block permission. We will at any second now get the 500 hertz. There it goes. I now need to get down to 25 kilometers an hour, actually 20 kilometers an hour. Drive about five kilometers an hour under the speed limit generally. You don't want to hug high speed, especially the 25 one. You can be a little bit flexible, but don't go near, don't, don't, uh, don't chance it. <clears throat> you want to kind of stay well under it. Um, so we cruise in here. Stop. I have turned the control one, uh, the objective marker off because it was driving me up the wall, frankly. Let's get the doors open. Okay, next tip. When you are waiting to get started, put your uh, get your brake back to the central, near the central position. Don't release it. It doesn't matter because while the doors are open, the brakes will stay, uh, the brakes will stay on. So you're not going to run away the train. However, um, you want the, um, <clears throat> you want that to be uh, uh, on there. Matt will spat. Okay, I'm reading the chat. Stop reading the chat. Uh, right, next trick is uh, one that I showed you at the Bakerloo line. You can close the doors beforehand and the yellow bar keeps going. I believe Jamie took a little advantage of that trick and that's fine. That's fine. Oh, headlights. We've got, we got lights on. 
What are you got the lights on? <clears throat> 8, 24, 30. We got 20 seconds. Let's go and have a look. We've even got headlights on. Look at that. Right, so we are in restricted monitoring 500 hertz, which means my speed limit is 25 kilometers per hour. That will release as soon as I go over that um, that marker there. That's when it times out. So as soon as I get permission to go, I can get up to 25 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> And uh, once we get up to 25 kilometers now, I need to haul back on the throttle. About 20, actually. 500 hertz is out. Restricted monitoring, or oh, restriction um, has stopped. So we can now accelerate up to the light speeds. Right, full throttle. Gundundun is the next station, 3.1 kilometers. <coughs> Heading 480 kilometers per hour. Throttle back and just cuddle that 80 km hour limit. Just keep an eye on that distance, 2.8 kilometers. Stopping on these things, you need to get a bit of practice, but essentially, if around the 600 meter mark, at around 120 kilometers an hour, you chuck in the lot, you pretty much stop on the money. <coughs> so, but if you're not sure, go a bit under that. Accelerating up to 120 kilometers an hour, which is the Rolling line speed for most of this. Backing off the throttle just to maintain it. Deal with CIFA. Two kilometers to go. Two and at 08.27. PTB is now uh, all looking good. Holding on a steady 85. One and a half kilometers. So I'm around about the sort of this. Once it starts rolling through 700, I'm going to pull the throttle or pull the brakes on. <clears throat> Otherwise, than that, I'm going to keep it nailed at 120. <clears throat> what you want to be doing ideally so as we come down to it I'm going to zero the throttle get down to about 700 mark and pile on the brakes <clears throat> what you want to be doing is about 60 as you cross the threshold of the platform if, as you get across the threshold of the platform you can make a judgement call so you can see now I'm going to undershoot so I'm going to pull the brakes off of it <clears throat> So you can kind of use some um, 60 kilometers an hour as you enter the platform as a first marker. Aim for about 60 kilometers an hour, um, and then you can um, you should be able to um, to stop fairly accurately. He says. He says. Come on, stop. Ready to open the door? Six meters. I'll take it. It's not bad. It'll throttle back up to the centre point again, so that we are ready to go. <clears throat> bye bye Doppel Stocks, this to be our 146.2. Right, let's get ready to close the doors. What I do here is I hover my mouse over it, but I always, I have my finger like, they can't see my camera. Let me put the camera back on again so you can see me. Is me. What I do is I have my finger like this on my on my other finger so that I don't press it and then when I want it I press it down. Oops, it's now I'm waffling. Because um, <clears throat> what I found was um, sometimes I do it, I'll be ready to go and I'll, I'll press the thing um, and I'll, I'll close the doors too early because my finger shakes or something and it bounces off the um, what's it. So anyway, full throttle. Um, we are 85 still, so there's nothing wrong with PZB. We can run up to line speed, 120 kilometers per hour. Green signal, so nothing to concern ourselves with, and no upcoming speed limits either. So, basically, rigid, rigid. <clears throat> That's all good. Right, next speed, we're accelerating. We haven't got to 120, and we're still coming down, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. We're at 700. Now. So I'm going to now cut the power and put it into the brakes again. I'm going to put the anchors on. And again, use your stopping point or your, use your braking point of about 60 at the platform entrance. If you're doing under 60, then you need to let off. If you're doing more than 60, you've probably got a problem. But bang on 60 as we enter the threshold of the platform. Ease up on the brakes a little bit just to get us to the end. As we come in, get ready to open the doors, do the C farm. Stop. 
Stop. Thank you. <clears throat> Brakes back into the master controller, back into the middle, and ready to go. This time I'm going to do it uh, properly. Well, properly. <clears throat> So I'm going to close the doors when we get basically to around about that point where it intersects with it there. About there. And that's it. We lose, we lose less time on the doors that way. We also lost less time just moving the handle back, which is also good. We are off now again. PZB has nothing interesting to tell us. We have a green light, no upcoming speed limits, stopping in Olsing at 1.4 kilometers away so we can continue acceleration and again we're just looking for that round about 700 meter mark <clears throat> that's my kind of service i like this right we're tracking the distance down 900 meters 800 meters pulling the throttle back to the middle just means I can apply the brakes more rapidly, put the brakes on. Close the doors again. Ooh, hello. Train. I like trains. Don't know if that's if that's something that's if that's news to you, um, but apparently I like trains. <clears throat> All right, waiting for the bar to get around to the uh, close point. We're now able to close the doors time-wise. We're just waiting for our minimum station time. Close. Green light ahead of us, Peter B not doing anything, we're good there, four to line speed, put the controller to zero and go, 3.3 kilometers to Bourbon Zone. Proceeding up to line speed. We've got two minutes and four seconds. Point seven kilometers to Puget Sound. Point four instead of one twenty. So what I do generally is, as we get into the general vicinity, sort of about eight hundred meters or so, pull the throttle back to zero, so that when I want to apply the brakes, I haven't got to wait for it to also centre the needle of the, the handle again. So I'm centering the handle now, getting ready to apply the brakes. Brakes on. Again, we're looking for that 60 kilometers an hour as we come into the uh, threshold. Ooh, basically. There's 60 kilometers an hour, just ease up so that we can come in a bit quicker. Brakes on a bit more as we come in. Oh, 
doors open. Let's get the throttle centered back into the middle again and ready to close the doors. Only me, don't know if it's realistic doing full braking. You've heard in YouTube videos, some German drivers do brake aggressively. Well, the, the sort of the technique was actually, that, that technique of throttle hard, brake hard is, uh, did come from a German driver. So, close the doors. Progress control is in the middle. Doors are closed. And we are good to go. We have nothing on PZB. Maha, we have a max speed of 120, no upcoming speed restrictions, and a green light. Right, rip it and rip it. 3.2 kilometers now to Munchen Lockhausen. Drink a bit of content. Oh, this green tea with jasmine. It's perfect. Right, 2.9 kilometers. Got been under two minutes, two and three quarter minutes to get there. One of three quarter minutes to get there. Baths, I think. Paths. Right, dial back speed throttle as we come up to 120, try and nail that speed. Pull the master controller back to the middle. Right. <clears throat> Sam's got a rag doll and a box of pins. <laughs> Doors closed. Again, PZB is doing nothing. We have an upcoming speed restriction in a little bit. Right, throttle going. We've got nothing in front of us immediately. So uh, we carry on up to 120. PZB's not doing anything. 2.3 kilometers to Munch and Langwied. So we proceed up to line speed. Uh, there is mixed upcoming speed restriction down to 90. Um, we'll be when we get into passing sort of area. And uh, that's after this station stops. So we don't have to worry about it right now. So I won't. Keep the power on until we get closer to the 120. Dial back the power a little bit. Pull back into 120. Excellent. Right. One kilometre, I'm just going to pull back the throttle, 900 metres, 800 metres, 700 metres, pull on the brakes. Right, we've got upcoming 90, I'm going to acknowledge it even though I don't need to, because it's, uh, it's a 90 kilometres now limit, but I like acknowledging it, so. Bit of slippies going on there. What's going on? 
still, it didn't stop us slowing down, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, up to the end, C for acknowledge. And haul on the brakes to stop. And go. Right, master controller back to the middle. Right, again, we've got these warnings for the 90 coming up, so we need to be, we need, that needs to be present on our mind. It's currently a 120 limit, but it is not going to stay that for long. Braking physics on the BR43 are weak, Mesurel. It's um, it's a it's a um, I'm not sure iconic is the uh, the right phrase for it. It's um, famed for its, um, its its poor braking for an S Spartan unit. Right, we haven't got to leave here for another 20 seconds, so we are good for the minute. Um, we've so what are our plan going forward? We're going to go up to lines, head up, head for line speed on the basis that we have a 90 limit coming up. The flashing greens are just warnings. The yellow nine above is a is a upcoming speed restriction, as is this one down here, and we are now good to go. So we will now apply power and get going. Next station is Munchen Passing. This is where the corridor starts and things get fun. Right. Again, I'm going to acknowledge it because I am paranoid. Doesn't hurt to acknowledge too much. 990 kilometers an hour is starting in 800 meters. So I'm going to take a far to get a bit more speed. No, it's the 90 actually starts just up here. Technically, the 90 starts at this signal here. That's what the white light, the white uh, sign there means. So I'm going to be a good boy and go do what the signals are telling me. Remember to follow the signals, not the track limits. Go the lower of the two. So we'll keep it up. Let's put some more power on. Hello, Mr. Train. And get up to the 90 kilometers an hour at least. Let's take advantage of the speed we've got. We're climbing a bit now because we're going over the flyover. Got a yard over on the right. Upcoming 60 limits, which we'll get told about in the signals very shortly. the thousand hertz on nothing else we need to worry about other than just we're going down a sharp hill here so we just need to keep an eye on that once the sefer just watch our speed as we come down the hill let it get a bit more speed up because you know we don't want to waste some any time not again because i'm paranoid right okay so we're doing 54 kilometers now we're coming into munch and passing and we are coming up to Those are the moments I like. A little bit of side-by-side -side running there. Oh, hey, you live for that stuff. Right, got a red light, which means this is a hot 500 hertz magnet. It's about to go live. There it is, which means we're now dropping to 25 kilometers an hour. Let's just make sure we're safely under the 25. Roll up to the end. Get the doors open. master controller back in the middle get ready to close the doors actually let's just have a look outside there's two trains in the station equals cool <clears throat> all right so we're coming up on lcb if i remember rightly let's get ready to close the doors and now we're past departure time so we'll be able to get going straight away Remembering we're on 500 hertz restricted monitoring, so 25 kilometers an hour speed restriction. As we pull away here, I just need to keep an eye on that speed. 500 hertz will go away momentarily. There 
it is. And I'm going to clear myself from monitoring and get going. But, uh, yeah, that was a clear signal, so we're good to carry on. Right, so uh, line speed is currently 100 kilometers an hour. It's going up to 120. Memory serves very shortly. EZB goes away. We are going to get a drop down to 100. Sweeping super elevated curves. Right, there you go. LZB has just taken over, so we now follow LZB's instructions. It's giving us about a uh, 1.2 kilometers away to the uh, 100 kilometers an hour. So I'm not going to. The U.02 with two dots tells me that uh, if I noticed otherwise, the LCB is now uh, watching over me carefully. Right, I'm going to just ease down. There you go. You see the blue speed is coming down, so I'm just going to lead that down now so that no one, nothing gets upset with me. Down to the 100 kilometers an hour. Two, one, oh. That's it. And we are now 900, coming up 900. Way throttle is centered. That's it, LZB has reached the target of speed. Now I'm only doing 100 kilometers an hour, so I can be a little bit less vigorous with the braking as we come in. And I'm going to apply now. Applied that a bit later than normal, so I'm going to apply it still just as uh, tough. But just use your normal benchmark of 60 kilometers an hour, so I'm coming in obviously too, too much there, so ease off on the brakes. Just under the 60 kilometers an hour, so we're all right. Now to the CFA. Pour on some brakes, let's just bring it to a stop now. A little bit overshooting even that mark, but not too much. I've done worse. Right. Doors open. Master controller back in the middle, ready to close the doors. No distractions, Mr. P, pay attention. <laughs> right, waiting for the yellow bar to get round to the uh, join. That's it. Press the button. ready to go. Uh, current speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour. There's no PZB to even bother us anymore. Munchenhurstgarten is our next station and we will throttle up to line speed. Uh, we do have an upcoming 90 kilometers an hour according to the LCB readouts but that's over a kilometer away. So uh, and our next station is a kilometer away so that 90 starts after the next station after the Hirschgarten. Sitting over there on the left. Dial back the power as we hit the 100. G light has come on because I'm inside the deceleration curve as I approach the speed limit. Left it way too late to put the brakes on on this one. So we are well actually just over the 60 this time, so if I just keep the brakes on, we should be in reasonable shape. a little bit to just extend the state train up to the end of the platform. Stop! Oh, back the brakes a little too much, but not too much. Back to the master controller in the middle. Eh, see, that's not terrible. I mean, you know, no one's going to thank me, I guess. <clears throat> right, let's get ready for closing the doors. <clears throat> Wait till it gets to the part where it joins the uh, the marker there. Don't use that mark that gauge for all trains. Measure it on different trains if you're going to close the doors early. Um, different trains have different times that a door takes the doors to close. Munchen Donners Brucker. Right. 
speed has now dropped to 90, it is now further dropping to 80, and it will do so before Donner's Burger Brooker. <clears throat> but that's why the LZB will take care of us. We're in good hands now, folks. We are in good hands. Uh, not because I'm driving, but because LZB is in charge. I acknowledge that PCB out of uh, habit. Right, coming up on Donna's Burger Brooker. Get some brakes on as we get 500 meters. Coming in a bit slow, actually. We're only just hitting 60 kilometers an hour. <coughs> That's it. Now I've lost the 80, down to the 80 kilometers an hour. I actually lose the brakes at the moment. Stop left. Yeah, just hack a brook to go. <clears throat> Reset the master controller so we can make a quick getaway. Get ready to close the doors. And close. Speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour. It is dropping to 60, but only after uh, Hackerbrook where it goes into the tunnels. So nothing we need to worry about, although we might get a speed, the speed reducing as we go down there. So we will carry on, look for 80 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> Just let it, my speed be uh, led by the blue dot, and then at some point we jam on the brakes. Start to see for open the doors. <sighs> How have I done? Have I done all right? No, the next station's not in the route, John. What is she doing? Lock the doors. <clears throat> Final score is 13764. What did Jamie get? Shall we have a look at the scoreboard? <sighs> uh, someone remind me, I haven't got the scoreboard up. <clears throat> I can't remember what it was. <laughs> uh, oh, I've got the, uh, the email here, let me just download it again. Oh, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. Finally. <clears throat> oh, I enjoyed that. That was fun. I love PZB. What can I say? So, yes, 13452. 
13764. <clears throat> so that was good. I enjoyed that. But you know, full credit. I want to give I just want to give full credit to Jamie actually. That was I mean, you've seen what I do, I did there. I think I I played a number of tricks in the book and uh I was driving pretty hard and uh, I only got 300 more points to Jamie. So, uh, you know, I want to give a special um, shout out to Jamie. Actually, he did really, really well. Um, but uh, yeah, there's my speed curve and uh, stopping accuracy. I possibly could have gained a few more points on some of these. Like a 15 meter, so there's a 16 meters. I think that was about the worst of it. Most of them aren't too bad. So. <clears throat> I didn't beat your score, only me. Excellent. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> Hudless run next time. Yes, absolutely. Oh, hang on. We've got we've got a new a new table here. Hang on. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. Do, 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 do. I think what we'll do is we'll do another run. <clears throat> so, uh, um, Maybe in a regional barn or a 425 or something, and we'll, uh, we'll we can chat then and take it easy. Uh, and I will probably fluff it up frequently, um, but that's okay. Right, uh, let me get this file downloaded. Boom, there you go. <clears throat> the challenges are good fun, aren't they? they for me, they give a uh, a really good insight into. Um, you know, or not insight. They they give you a different way of perceiving and playing the game, um, which is uh, you know different to the usual. Um, and yes, big, yeah, kudos to Natalie Paul as well. Yeah, because uh, driving with PZB is not easy. Um, so uh, it's very easy to get uh, messed up by it. So uh, <clears throat> do one of the few regional Rowan runs that uh, stops at Haspelmore. Well, find me one. Enter the dragon, and I'll do it. That was good fun. Well done to everybody. Uh, we all had fun at the end of the day. That's what matters, really. I think it was Jamie's first try at PZB as well, Enter the Dragon. Kind of, you know, they've all stepped up massively. <clears throat> right. No, Sam is the fourth winner, Backlin. Sam is the fourth winner. <clears throat> I look different without my pink ears on. What? How do I look different without my pink ears on? <clears throat> Let's find something else to do, shall we? I think Sam's currently blue tacking a pic of your face to a dartboard. Uh, what makes you think he hasn't already done that? <laughs> <clears throat> right um so so i quite like the 425 but let's do something loco hauled because um because different um we'll go with the 146 i think i quite like the 146 stick bit of cloud in the sky should we make it rain i know but you like you, you all like it raining the wetness up as well Pump the wind up. It's a terrible day at Munich. <clears throat> Just waiting to see if Enter the Dragon comes in with a. Uh... Oh, 57020, he says. There you go, Dinkelsheven. Boom. Let's do that one. That's a nice shot. Right. And the weather is rubbish. Even more rubbish is that the rain isn't sticking to the windows. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Let us open the doors. And uh, back here we need the lights on. Uh, PZB is safe. There is no LZB on this train, unfortunately. Um, I need the uh, desk light off because that drives me up the wall. 
Headlights on. There's only six of them and you can't remember them off by heart. Well, that's no good, Enter the Dragon. Will the layers for HMA be added to console soon? Um, there's, there's no date for that at the moment, no. Destination screen. It won't, it won't work on this route, will it? Uh, power on. Yeah, there's no use. It's a not-in-service train. Lock the doors. Oh yes, AFB. Let us. AFB. 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 Set it to the right speed limit and put some power on. Oh, here we go. I must have been undercover. Yeah, I was undercover. <laughs> That's better. Next station, bunch of passing. And the green light ahead of us. using the safety systems on the next run after the winter. That's because I, for me, one of the things that makes me enjoy the German train so much is the safety system. In fact, that applies to all trains. Um, I enjoy learning the safety systems and using them. And, uh, yeah, so for me, that's kind of what it's all about. But that's not the case for everybody, and neither should it be. It's a bit loud, is it? How's that? Is that better? This weather's kind of rubbish. Is the way is the volume any better now? Right, we'll get speed up shortly. Munchen passing is in 6.2 kilometers. Let's put the throttle to the floor. Any minute now, it should give us the 130. There it is. Pour on the... Where we go? Real slippy slips. Let's pour back the power. We had to put more power on as we speed up, but we're still a bit slow for uh, putting it on the max power. Just feel it losing the grip there. <laughs> so what's everybody been playing what have you been doing have you taken part in the challenge have you been doing some liveries talk to me about trains folks could the layers of console work as a separate timetable it's actually one of the options we're exploring is having a second timetable with maybe one more layer added because that would almost certainly fit in the memory and would give you a bit more fun so we're exploring a number of options as in addition to just, you know, what does it take to give everything, get everything working? Well, if we can't get everything working immediately, is there something else we can do? So there's, there's other options being looked at. It's better hammers down now as we speed up. We've got a drop to 60 kilometers an hour for passing coming up shortly because we are stopping there. A pink 66 on southeastern high speed. I like your style. Be 
green lights. Look at that. Right, I'm going to cut the power now. We don't really need to be powering up. We can coast for a while. In fact, we're probably going to get PZB throwing in a, uh, a merry fit in a minute. There we go. Just drops target speed to 60. That will bring the electric brakes in as well. Just let Pizza, the AFB finish off the speed reduction and I'll put some power on so that it uh, can balance out with 60. There we go. Good, good. Passengers sat in dark. Oh, should we turn the lights on when we get to passing then? Yeah, do you think we should do that? Have we got one of those lazy guards on the train that doesn't turn the lights on? vaguely possible I, I decelerated rather too rapidly but never mind I'd rather do that than the alternative <laughs> right 60 would expect 60 so I need to re-acknowledge that we'll stay at 60 Jaffa cake oh very nice but London South East livery there Michael love it I saw a mock-up of that a, while, a long time ago. Someone did as a photo and it looked beautiful. Uh, Bradley, we don't have the ability to do different things for the, X, the Series X and PS5 yet. Um, otherwise that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright, brakes are on as we just bring the train into um, Hazing. Got another expect 60, so I need to acknowledge that. are open. Oh, we were going to get out and fix the uh, the doodads, weren't we? In here. And uh, turn the lights on. Lock the doors and get ready to go. Do you stay in touch with Dimitri? I've messaged him back a couple of times since he left. But he's busy, same as we all are. I'm confused. I've shut the doors. What's it doing? Oh, I've got brakes on. Yeah, dummy. I'm used to driving a combined handle train. So this idea that there's a separate handle that I need to worry about. <laughs> right, 60 kilometers an hour passing this signal. Actually, we're already in 60 kilometers now. Ooh, another S barn. Or is that a regional barn, actually? That's 45, isn't it? Looks like 45 to me. Dull and worn out. Nice. 
<clears throat> yeah, I just noticed that black wolf. I just noticed that. Whoa. See, now it doesn't matter if I flew fit, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, alright. Alright. Zero the throttle, and we can go again. Release from monitoring. Nothing funky going on. No, can't give it the full beans. Next station is Mammendorf, 22 kilometers away, so we've got a bit of express action going on now. Zifa, Zifa. Right, let's put up to 130. I can't give it the full beans, stop giving it the full beans. 140 kilometers an hour. Thank you, Peter. I don't know whether you'll see JD on the streams, uh, Paul Wilkinson. I don't know what the plans are there. All right, we're up to 160. Give it the full beans now. Yep, beans have been fulled. Ross Gilbert, uh, how did I get in? Oh, I got first place. Only, only by a, uh, a, 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 you know, a hair though, but uh, I got first place. I got 13.764 and Jamie's was 13.452. Zifa, Zifa. Backlin, we're doing very well, thank you. My wife got added to the shielding list for COVID, so she's going to get a jab shortly, actually. She Got put onto the priority list for that. Alright. We'll be switching over into the middle tracks at some point, I think, along here. If memory serves, as we come up to this big junction, we switch to the middle, don't we? Yeah, we do. Spoilers. Oh, hello. What does PZB sound for? Something like Punks for Me Swangs Bremsen or something like that, but pronounced better and more German. Eighteen seventeen kilometers. How good is my German? It isn't. Zifa. Ah, Punkt for me, Zugbein for some. There you go. Zugbein for some is like train control, isn't it? And Punkt for me, is that what, like positive train control or. I don't know. Uh, have you thought about what you'll pick for the next challenge? Um, I don't know. Sam normally picks the challenges. Sifa, 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 yeah. Sifa, Sifa. Does Will Slip affect AI trains? No, I don't think it does actually, uh, Mike Wills. Intermittent train protection, that, that swings the bell, of course. Point based. Oh, but Sam said the winner picked the next challenge. Oh, all right then. Okay. What do we think, folks? What sounds? What sounds fun? 
We've done two Bakerloo challenges. We've done a Munich challenge. I think we should go to America. Long Island? What are we thinking? Long Island? Or Caltrain. Caltrain's another option, isn't it? Right, let's drop the speed to 120. Yeah, I wonder if I I I think I'll suggest Caltrain, but you're right. It, it possibly is a bit on the long side. Although if we do the baby bullet, a 300 service, they're about an hour. And there's no safety systems to worry about. Oh yes, the Westinghouse braking. Mm. Yeah, no safety systems, but slightly more challenging braking. Super <laughs> choose the car train because Sam can't drive. <laughs> you mean? Put speed back up to 160. It's quite nice, this driving on the AFB. Just tell the train what I want, go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, actually, a switching challenge. Oh, a switching challenge. Doing one of the services, or um, uh, the switching services. That would be interesting. Although they don't really have much in the way of points, so... No, actually, it probably wouldn't be that interesting. Not from a score challenge perspective. Um, no, I think Caltrain or Long Island are my uh, uh, thing. But use the F40 on a baby bullet service. Oh, the sound disappeared. My word, that sound needs fixing. That's terrible. Jeez. 7.2 kilometres. Well, you know, the other option is to do a rather than a score based challenge you do a switching challenge but you make it time based so rather than recording the score you record the time that it says on the debrief at the end five point seven kilometers for Mammondorf yeah it possibly is I think we're better off sticking with passenger, to be honest. Oh, you know, I'm definitely talking about using the F40 uh, with um, uh, with its um, manually lapped brakes. Yeah, I totally. LZB was added to the game after this train was made, Speedbird. Purely down to that. This train predates LZB coming into the game. Now, Adam, with his um, preserve crew, has the option... And um, you know, and he has an option of tons of stuff. To be fair, um, that um, you know, maybe LZB will get added to some of the old, older trains. But um, he's got a massive work queue of things that he can, you know, that you can choose from. So don't take that as kind of, kind of promise. about the 101 it's not a bad shout although I kind of want to do something in North America although if we're going to do Long Island I kind of want to do it when the one over what the Long Island um, update comes out 
that Adam's been working on. Zifa, Zifa. What's that bitch noise? It's the uh, traction motors. Slowing down ahead of time just because it's raining. Zifa. I just love how the game looks. <laughs> I really do. The number of times I look at screenshots or look, you know, look at a scene that I'm just, I've just loaded up into the game, it's just, whoa. Right, close the doors. Asphalt War, 5.9 kilometers. What's the schedule for next week? I don't know yet, Davidoff. But no, the schedule normally gets announced on Monday, I remember right now. Carlo, all the preserved crew German sounds um, haven't come across into TSW2 properly. So it's on the preserved crew's list of things to uh, look at ASAP from Burley. Bit of wheel slip going on there. Thursday is the 465 release stream. Yes, it is. Interestingly, lots of comments yesterday about the 465 having the, the viewpoint too high. According to drivers that I've spoken that we've spoken to and beta testers that we've spoken to, it's in the right place. Possibly down to the, the sort of the more, more constrained field of view of the uh, of the um, the cab making it look like it's too high up because you can't see the display. The, sorry, the speedometer and that sort of thing. Uh, the 465 and the loud carriage, Mr. JMB, got reported uh, to QA are looking at the uh, getting that raised so that it can get fixed um, ASAP. It won't be for release though, because release is already it's, everything's already on though, sort of the cycle towards release. That build is done, so it'll be one of the ones post release.
We're always people above six foot. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, there's no service if to Faversham at the moment, no, William. There's one scenario that goes there. No, I didn't mention the gangways yet, yeah, AFS. I've been quite busy today. Right, coming into Haspel Moor. Will new destinations be added to 146 display? Again, it's something that uh, Adam's team might uh, might be able to take a look at, but I, I don't know what he's got planned at the moment. So that's some question to ask Adam on the roadmap strings. Have you seen that huge pink container ship? I have indeed. It's operated by Ocean Network Express, the same people who run the uh, the big pink container trains. That's awesome. Right, Alfrenberg is next, three kilometres. Oh, you've got TS21 running on your uh, Mac Pro Wolfgang, excellent. Atomic World, it's not on one end, it's off to one side. Secrets and spoilers. Just hit the threshold of wheel spin there. Two kilometres, Alfenberg. Not a lot to see in this fog, is there? When will the train somewhere to roadmap update for the main line, the main character? I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, uh, right, 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 residence, but uh, are you asking when it will get added for updates? Again, uh, I don't know when. what's on uh, Adam's uh, list, what order he's planning on tackling things. Definitely one for Adam uh, on our roadmap stream. Only me, we often have one line uh, containers Zipa. coming in at work. Zipa. 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 paying attention to that and not enough to this. 
Uh, oh, and every time it's a pink one, you think of Matt. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, all the mixing's gone bad since it went over to CSW2, Asian. You're getting sort of um, the exterior rain sounds rather than the interior rain sounds. I know Adam's aware of it, it's on his list. You can't help but feel like Adam's getting a lot more work than his team can handle. Uh, there is always a, 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 you know, a big list of stuff to do, but... Uh, got quite a good team now actually they're getting they're getting faster at doing stuff I watched some of the news clip yeah I haven't seen it all yet I got interrupted by something else looks good they misspelled John Rissick's name but hey <laughs> Mering is next. Mering St. Afra kissing Augsburg Hoxor, Augsburg Hanstetterstrasse and Augsburg Hopanov. Lock the doors. Any plans this weekend? Staying in, not going anywhere. Playing games. Doing trying some stuff. You know, the usual. How about yourself? I don't think they all had PIS, Carlo. Certainly we've not gone in and deleted them. And they won't delete themselves. It's my favourite German train. I like the older ones. Things like BR-155s, BR-143s, that kind of thing. A bit more mechanical. Do I have any other hobbies? Trains excluded? No, trains pretty much my hobby. Or software. I like software. I like programming, you know, coding stuff. But then I generally end up coding train stuff, so. Three point six kilometers from Merring. Did you study comp I did indeed at Essex University. Might not go to a Somerset few years for a meetup. Yeah, we've done meetups in the past. Well, I've done meetups with people who watch my stream two or three times now. We did one at Crew, I think. No, I agree, Prof. I agree. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. How did I find it? Um, I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, I had the usual problem of um, first year when I got there in that... Uh, it was all about, uh, it included 
there were bits and pieces that I wasn't interested in. Um, but actually, they turned out to be quite useful. I mean, there was a linguist linguistics component, um, which was um, actually I've, I've used several times, you know, since. Um, it's been really interesting. And then there was um, there was logic and scientific method, which was great. And then there was philosophy, which no, it's not my kettle of fish. Totally not my kettle of fish. So that was for me a total waste of time. Um, but on the whole, I really enjoyed it, actually. It was Essex, and so we did um, robotics and uh, all sorts of things, so... Right, Smerig St. Afra. How will a Rosaline trains work on Scenario Designer? I don't know. That's a good shot. <laughs> yeah, the big, the biggest advice I can give people, um, Pink Trains, who are looking at doing the course is you're probably going to find at the time that there are things that you're learning which make you think, why am I learning this? What's going on? And all I'll say is, stick with it, because it is useful. There's so many things. One of the things that we covered at university, which, uh, which I, I thought was just a, was in, intellectually interesting but utterly pointless, was genetic algorithms, That's because we did a section on AI, and um, I just thought it was absolutely pointless. When am I ever going to use this? It's just so weird. Guess what? Used it at British Telecom. Created a uh, genetic algorithm-based prioritization system, packet prioritization system for um, authoring a, um, uh, for, for managing load balancing across multiple things using super intelligence and just figuring out, you know, just dynamically figuring out based on all sorts of characteristics, the right way to organize everything and make the best use of resources. And I'm like, okay, all right, fair enough. I've pretty much used everything I did at uni now at some point or some fashion, even if I didn't think I would. So, yes. Stick with it. Even if you don't think it's useful right now, it probably will be. No! It's a really long platform, fortunately, by the looks of it. That's a really long platform. Oh my word, that is a really long platform. There you go, look, see, there's still things in there. And it passed the objective, so we're done. Excellent. Did not officially miss the platform. Uh, I saw that and I'm like accelerating and it's like, and in 200 metres you'll be stopping. No! <laughs> Do I reckon the UK will be back to normal on June 21st? We'll see. In today's government briefing they were showing that the rear area is going up even while we're still locked down. It's like, come on, people. How do you expect to get into lo out of lockdown if we can't um, if we can't even get the numbers down when we're locked down? So, where is the wheel slip? There. I'm purposefully not pushing it there uh, too hard. Should I trust you driving a train you're on? Definitely not. Especially if you hear me chatting to the, the, the stream chat while I'm doing it. That's a definite, you know... Wow. I sit next to the driver's seat and if you hear them having a chat with all the people and saying, Oh, I'm about to come into this. Oh, good. Nice to see you again. They just think, no. I am joking. Obviously, no driver's room do that. 
Kissing is next, 2.1 kilometers. I did indeed slum it out in the towers in the first year, um, Captain. I was in one of the four towers, in the little group of four towers. After that I was then in digs outside. Coming up on Kissing. There'll be more news on the 1A7 nearer the time. Are you planning on adding the Jubilee line? Uh, if it's coming, it'll go onto the roadmap. And uh, it's not on the roadmap. And I know that's a really boring answer that makes everyone go, Ugh. but that's that's the answer, I'm afraid. Um, would I like to add the Jubilee line? Yes. But um, there are no plans at the moment. <laughs> it's an extensively difficult and long and time consuming project, crazy. Are you more likely to add routes already in TS to TSW? Whether it's in TS or not doesn't actually play a factor. Um, we make we choose routes. Now we happen to know we, we obviously know how well a TS route went down, um, which can inform a decision. But the fact that it's in TS is not the reason to do it or not to do it. Um, whether it's the right route to do is the reason to do it. And we do get an awful lot of requests for uh, people for routes that they they know and they've seen in TS that they want to see in in Train Sim World. Particularly bearing in mind that um, obviously there's three times the user base because you've got the two extra console platforms. Um, and those console platforms have never seen the TS route, so for them it's the first time. I'm using rail driver now, I'm using the keyboard. Was it difficult transferring the stuff from old to new? Well, the audio apparently um, was a challenge. Um, but uh, no, the majority of it was relatively straightforward once some of the core issues the engineering team sort of worked through. Um, like you know cars instead of signals um, then um, the rest of it came through and it was just really just testing it and you know fixing the odd minor thing here and there except because the audio engine was changed quite substantially it's had a fairly bad effect on the old trains Ziva. the reasoning for choosing Hamburg Lübeck I don't know, I always liked it as a route. It's um, it's a sensible length that we could do for the slot that we had to, to fill for that. Um, but uh, no, I quite like the route. And so did other people. Will TS run alongside TSW for the foreseeable future? Yes. There's a dedicated team working on TS content. You like cheeseburger, Ziva. don't you? Ziva. Nice. Hi, Andy. I won. By the skin of my teeth, but I won. We're just we're just having a laugh and trying not to miss too many stations now. How hard is it in Chrome licenses? It varies wildly. Sometimes you talk to an operator. In fact, sometimes an operator talks to you and says, Hey! And other times the operator's just got better things to do and it becomes quite difficult. 
But they're already good to talk to, actually. They're already helpful. There have been quite a few routes that um, have been suggested by the community after we'd already had them in progress. I think Tees Valley Line, for example, was one that we wanted to do, had it in the plan to do, and then we noticed it was on the forum as well. Um, so there have been a number of route suggestions put forward by the community, which we have also um, already had in the plan. So it depends on how you want to look at it. I can't think of any we've made because we saw it in there. But quite often, you know, when we're discussing route options, we'll keep going back to the forum and we'll think of ideas and we'll go and have Because anyone suggested this one in the forum, let's go and see what they said about it. And we'll, we'll go and dig into it almost in that respect as well. So we, we use that, that uh, the suggestion forum as a, uh, um, a sort of a really good database of ideas that people have come up with. And particularly when, you know, there's lots of images and background to a route to try and explain why this is a really good route to do or why the area itself is really good to do. So there's some really interesting stuff there. I don't actually do the licensing. I've done one licensing conversation. I, I, I arranged the Canadian Pacific license a long time ago for the Canadian Mountain Passes. Um, but the um, uh, we've got a dedicated team these days that um, um, that uh, are you know, much better uh, and they do a really good job. So exactly how they, they kick off discussions, I'm not entirely aware. Doors. Oh, I see. Have you changed some of the procedure for security reasons? Um, so we don't go out of our way to do that, but if we're asked to, then obviously we do. Um, Amtrak asked us to change some stuff on the ACS 64. Um, back in TSW um, and, in the, and on the SW1000. I think there's been one or two others that have been changed, but very, and they're all really minor. They're really nice changes from people that clearly get the game and what we're trying to put forward and are trying to help us deliver a good experience and still meet their, you know, be, you know, meet their requirements for security. I was, I was really, really pleased actually with the feedback we got from Amtrak on the ACS64 and, and what they wanted us to change didn't damage the gameplay at all um, it was just moving some switches and changing some stuff didn't remove any gameplay at all which was really really good because they could just as easily have said actually we don't want that functionality you know for example they could have said take the safety system out we don't want people knowing how that works they didn't say that they thought that was really cool actually um, so it's um, yeah Zifa. How CPU dependent is TSW? Um, fairly, fairly heavily CPU dependent, I think, Philip. Obviously, it'll benefit from a strong graphics card, but um, you, in, in all cases, you need to keep your machine balanced. It's not a GPU. I say it's not a GPU heavy game. It can be a GPU heavy game, but it's only a GPU heavy game if you've got bags of CPU. If you haven't got bags of CPU, then um, you're CPU bound. You want to keep your system balanced, really. There's no point putting a massive... It's like I didn't bother getting a 30 generation for this machine. It's an, I upgraded it to a 20. They've got a 2070 Super in here. Because I've only got an old um, 6700 uh, processor in it, so I couldn't see much point, to be honest, in, um, um, in putting a bigger CPU in it. Sorry, a bigger graphics card. Not until I could also put a bigger CPU in it. Right, we've got an upcoming 60 at the next signal. Uh, Luca, I need help switching PS4 to 5, can't download Zipa. TSW. Um, I would suggest getting in touch with our support team. They might be able to help, or even Sony support might be able to help you, given that it's downloading a game that you bought. But yeah, if you drop our support... Um, 
um, system uh, a message. Hopefully a moderator can give you a link to that. Was Jeff Marshall nice when you met him? He was brilliant. Very friendly, chatty, really got the game. I think, I think, slash hope he enjoyed playing the game. He sat and played it for a while. I made him use my pink controller. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's great. Very good. I enjoyed the conversation. No, the underground platforms are not coming in. There's no plans to do that, Barry. I assume you mean at um, Munich. Put it on a 40 uh, because we're in flashing 1000 hertz, so we've got 40 limit. A buller would be good to get in. It was something one of the team was uh, researching a while back, um, but it's uh, it's not being worked on at the minute now. I've not used the BR420 crazy, it's still heavily in development, so I couldn't testify one way or the other how it is. I used to enjoy it on TS1, it's a really nice unit, really cool sounds. 1000 hertz. Still in restricted monitoring, I'm not going to end it because of all these influences that are coming in. You guys at Doctor are usually at Gamescom. Uh, when, when Gamescom is a thing when we're allowed out of our bedrooms, then yes. I think I've been two or three years there right on, uh, previously. Um, and there were others there that went there before I did. So, uh, yes, we've been to Gamescom fairly consistently. But Going forwards, I don't know what the plan is. I imagine at some point um, we'll be back. It's quite a good show. I really enjoy it, actually. Chats with a lot of good people. Yeah, I shared some screenshots of some photographs from Gamescom on my own Discord, didn't I? <laughs> That's amazing. So the, the, the stands that are there are absolutely stunning. We don't normally have a front of house stand. We're not in there with all the big um, stands where, you know, where the uh, out the front. We're normally in the business area in the back um, doing like um, YouTube interviews and uh, press interviews, things like that. 500 hertz. Let's get down under 25. Outside view, yes. Doors. Uh, 
Uh, official place to recommend any routes? Yes, go onto the forums. There's a uh, there's a suggestions area on there. No, there's no need to acknowledge the 500 hertz, but I thought I saw a double yellow out the corner of my eye, and I just every time I see yellow these days, I press the I press the button just mostly out of panic and paranoia. Shelby, can you get hello back? Hello. Um, hopefully that's all right. <laughs> Good job, Matt. Not one spad tonight. I know, no spadding, eh? Right, that's enough for that one tonight. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me on the challenge uh, and having uh, a great conversation. Um, and I think we're all back next week. I don't know what the plan is next week. So uh, keep an eye out in the usual places for the for the streaming plan. Uh, I'm going to go and wreck some cars now on my stream. So I'll catch you all later, folks. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>